Hey guys, Dave here, JDH Reptiles. Welcome to another video. Uh, it has been a while since I've actually done a video. Uh, so I'm, I feel like I'm kind of out of the swing of things here. Hopefully uh, this video is enjoyable. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about doing for quite some time. Um, so I'm probably going to do a couple of these back to back. What I want to do before we get started though, uh, two things. I don't typically do advertisements or, you know, um, talk about a company much. But, but two things, this type of time of the year, I do want to let you guys know some deals. Uh, first of all, in the links down below in the description field, uh, if you want to get breeder stickers made or like a wall cling made or something like that, uh, Sticker Mule is the company we use. There's a link in that description where if you sign up through that link, you get $10 off your first purchase. So go ahead and jump on that. Get yourself a cool $10 discount and uh, get some sweet ass stickers made. That's what we get ours done. We've done the holographics, we've done the circle stickers. Uh, we also get our mailing bags that we send our shirts in. Um, great company, they've always done me well. Fast shipping, uh, I've only had one size stickers that I didn't like because it came in like micro size. And when I went back and looked at it, it was on my fault. I, I got the proof, I saw the measurements afterwards and realized I just accepted it the wrong measurements. But other than that, the company themselves do a great job. The products are great. So yeah, check that out. Uh, one more thing I wanna let you guys know of. There's always the great debate about who has the best substrate. You know, who's got the best cocoa, whatever. If you don't care about any of that, if you want to try out the Reptazorb liners, I'm going to leave a link down below for that company as well, Superior Shipping Supplies. Uh, you can give them a shout. Their email is shippingsupplies88 at yahoo.com. Uh, you'll talk to Brisa. Send her your order. Make sure to mention JDH Reptiles. And if you buy over $100 worth of paper, which really isn't that hard, um, you get 10% additional free paper sent in with your order. So the link to that website, as well as her email address, will both be down below. So check that out. Uh, we just put an order in for, I don't know, gosh, probably 1,200 sheets to go through all the tubs. They're all pre-cut. If you have the holes for the, um, the deli cups, they're pre-cut. For the ARS Freedom Breeder, uh, they pre-cut for the Sea Serpent Rex. So really they do all that plus the iris tubs um, and they do custom measurements as well if you just are using like the rubbermaid tubs they can make liners for them as well so give them a check out i enjoy them we've been using them for about a year and a half now and i'm not going back to traditional cocoa or anything else it's always going to be liners here for our ball python collection all right guys and before we also get started uh, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to crush that like button, show some support, and uh, check out some of our other videos that are here on this channel. Uh, really appreciate that, and we hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season. So we're going to get into this one today. Um, I wanted to do kind of a recap of the last year's animals. Now we held back 12 animals, okay? Um, this is the 2018-19 season. So all of these animals are probably right around 1,000 grams by now. Uh, most of them were born July through September, somewhere around that area if I remember correctly. I think we had a couple late in October. But um, most of our animals were born or hatched somewhere around July to uh, September. So I'm going to just show you those 12 animals. We're also going to weigh them. I have my scale set out here. So we're going to just take a peek at what we got. I'll let you know the genetics and give you a little reason why I held each of these animals back. Uh, if I remember last year, last season, uh, we did produce 58 animals, I think. 
and out of those 58 we held 12 back so let's jump right into this and i hope you guys enjoy all right guys in no particular order here uh this male right here this is an orange dream yellow belly pinstripe calico so obviously we held this boy back uh, we made two very you know one very similar to this and then this one here um, it was just an amazing animal we definitely felt it would be great for our breeding season this year and in future years so I really didn't see a reason to get rid of them uh, it was kind of the culmination of what we wanted out of this pairing uh, the pairing was an orange dream yellow belly pinstripe and now we have found that the dad may have been hypo um, so if that's the case this is also possible hat for hypo and the mother of that year was just a pinstripe so yeah orange or sorry this mother was a calico sorry I'm getting ahead of myself here so again the dad orange dream yellow belly pinstripe hat hypo and the female that produced this one was a calico female so beautiful boy we're gonna go ahead and weigh him and let you know where where he's at right now all right so this boy is weighing at 604 grams so 604 not too bad uh we you know we don't we don't uh force feed our animals you know we don't push them a lot we feed typically at this size they're eating weaned rats and we typically feed between wean and small on occasion um, through for our whole collection we, we don't power feed at all so a lot of our animals they grow up decently quick but they eat once a week and they eat one quality meal so again not a bad boy we'll jump into the next one all right again I said no particular order so this one here I tried to sell this boy and nobody wanted him and that was fine with me because after about oh probably um, you know a month and a half of having them I really wanted to keep them and try and prove everybody wrong uh, the people who you know said nah 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 I think I was trying to sell them for like I don't know 125 bucks shipped or something something stupid and I was doing it mainly because I wanted to give somebody the opportunity at a really cool project so this here is a what I believe to be a fire um, you know could be pastel but I doubt it doesn't look pastel to me definitely a fire though that's potential to be a fire uh, but it is 100% hat for genetic stripe and 50% double het for VPI Exanthic and Hypo. So this year, this boy is actually going to go to both his mother, who is a fire double het G-stripe Hypo, and what I like to call his stepmother, is his father's uh, other woman on the side, and that is a double het genetic stripe Exanthic. Now we have proved the genetic stripe exanthic out and you'll see why here, probably the next animal. Uh, the other one we proved the genetic stripe out, but I haven't had a chance to prove the hypo out. But um, they both came from the same breeder, so I have no reason to doubt um, the, you know, the, the genetics. So hopefully this boy will produce both exanthics and hypos this year. And if so, he'll be a triple recessive, triple hat recessive, and uh, what a powerhouse he'll end up being. And if he is fire on top of that, man, that'll be smoking. So let's go ahead and weigh this boy, see where he's at. Uh, he's already started breeding this year. He's doing really well. And let's see. So he's 788 grams. So not too shabby. I'm going to do this. Here we go. <clears throat> so 788 grams. But yeah, I hope this boy proves those wrong who walked away on this deal. And hopefully he becomes a powerhouse for years for us to keep. So, 
All right, so talking about a stepbrother, right here he is. Uh, this would be a pastel genetic stripe VPI Xanthic. So the last one we saw is going to go to the dam from this animal here. Uh, this one is, I don't know what he's going to do this year. Uh, I think he's going to try and make some triple recessives. I'm going to pair him up with an albino. And uh, we're going to make triple recessive G-stripe exanthic albino, so G-stripe snows. Uh, but yeah, this boy here, just a beauty. I love having this one here. He's a uh, nice little powerhouse. And yeah, he's got a future here for good. So let's go ahead and weigh this guy here. Stay in the tub. So he's 856 grams. 856. And for obvious reasons, we kept him because this was what I was trying to make was a genetic stripe, uh, exanthic, and it's exactly what I hit. I got all the genes possible, pastel, genetic stripe, and exanthic all in one. Definitely happy with the way it turned out. He's a great eater, and hopefully he'll be a good uh, breeder this year and make me some nice triple hat babies. All right, so I've noticed that we've been talking a lot of males lately. And, um, you know, I got to have males for, for growing up. And this one was no no different. Um, blue eye leucistic. Okay, so the, the special thing here is the pairing on this was a coral glow butter. Supposed to be a coral glow butter yellow belly, but I don't believe he has yellow belly in him. Um, and the mother was a cinnamon butter. So, it's a male. This is a male making coral glow, which tells me this is a coral glow, super butter, possible cinnamon, and if that male is yellow belly, possible yellow belly as well. So, had to keep this one. This is actually what I was hoping to hit, was a blue-eyed leucistic and make it a male. That way it'd be a coral glow blue-eyed leucistic. Now with the super butters you obviously have the large bulgy eyes. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm okay with that um, because it's only genetic as far as being a super butter. I mean it's not going to you know pass on bulgy eyes to non super butter combos. So great animal, great eater and uh, I look forward this year to seeing if there's cinnamon or yellow belly or whatever else in with the genetics of this animal. So let's go ahead and get a weight on him real quick. He's gonna be a little bit on the light side. He was a really slow eater in the beginning, uh, but man, is he turned on. He's a great animal, and he's sitting at 590 grams. So again, I, I can't complain. He, he's really well, looks really well, eats great now, and he's gonna breed for us this year, hopefully, and make some amazing animals. Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, we're going to put this boy here uh, to our hypo female. And the reason for that is this came from the mother who produced a hypo this year. So she has to be het hypo, which means this boy here is possibly het hypo as well. So could you imagine that? Coral glow, super butter. If it was cinnamon also or yellow belly and then hypo hit hypo on top of that what what a powerhouse what a powerhouse before we go any further i just want to show you really quickly this girl's going in shed but as you can see as the camera can see this is a cinnamon butter possible yellow belly possible orange dream you know i don't know if it's either one of those but she looks hypo and she has clear sheds this here, this animal we produced this year, is the one who came from those animals I just showed you, who I said are possible hypo. So the mother was the cinnamon butter, the father was the orange dream pinstripe yellow belly. So with that being said, all these animals I've showed you so far, besides the genetic stripes, uh, could be het for hypo. And then we only found it out this year because of this animal here. So if this one here truly is hypo, which she looks like she is, and she has clear sheds, that's what would tell us 
that both those parents were hep for hypo. So just amazing how a couple years down the road, you produce something like this and it changes your plans for other animals you held back. All right, so we'll go back. This isn't from 2019, this is actually this year's. This will be in a different video, but I wanted to show you that to let you know why we keep calling the others possible het hyper. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up this one. Uh, we're gonna do part two. Uh, those are all the males. I'll have all the females. I put together this video. It was like 35 minutes long. I didn't want to do that to you. So we're gonna do two parts, two stages. Uh, but thanks again for dropping by. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, check the links down below again for both Sticker Mule and for uh, Superior Shipping Supplies. Have a fantastic holiday. I appreciate your support. I can't wait to get into the next video and show you the females we held back. Gonna be another banger. So take care guys. Love you. We'll see you then.